First of all, um, the, the band is founded by me and my older brother, which is the best player. So okay. we we, play, uh, we played music uh, together since basically we started. We tried different genres. I was involved in the indie rock scene, uh, in pop scene, in uh, not a metal scene. Even if we grew up with uh, with metal, because we tried a different approach. Basically, we when uh, the the, pro uh, the the main project that we at that time uh, broke up, we basically said okay let's do whatever we like without uh, thinking about the, the people that judge us and stuff like that right there's an alternative metal uh, piece uh, in, in like more yes yes melodic but more oriented into the uh metal core new metal uh with the old singer that we have in the couple of years but uh, after we we toured a lot in italy uh, we really go back and forth our uh, peninsula actually we got in support of uh, really all kind of uh, artists from the smaller one to the bigger one and we got the chance to basically have feedbacks from all the guys and all the big bands from we started to basically uh focus on the more shaping our personal touch on our music mm -hmm. then we change we add some guys and we change the uh singer and then we started to move uh, uh, more uh, melodic death metal uh, slash death, modern death metal um, sound. Basically, we developed as a musician, as artist. We learned a lot from basically programming, uh, making uh, orchestras and stuff like that. So we moved towards what we really uh, like, which uh, was the, like the Swedish uh, uh, death metal scene. But also we really love uh, most of the alternative slash the modern And we come up with uh, the album Don't Close Your Eyes in uh, 2019. Sadly, it was like uh, broken the promotion due to the global pandemic. It was like released some months before. We are like uh, also creating our own festival in uh, Naples that, uh, that we do from 2021 because, of course, a lot of us guys were involved into the uh, stage managing. name was coming from actually my brother uh since of uh, there is like two sides of a story one serious side and one funny side i will start with the serious side uh we learned uh reading an article uh by uh, an independent italian media we learned that the in psychology after the jump scare of an horror movie the attention is more focused than before so we got the jump scare so we try we keep it and the attention is more focused so we uh, we said okay that's basically what we want to do so the initial shock because of course a small town uh, uh, guys that plays uh, death metal for the normal people can be kind of shocking but uh, of course we the uh, the uh, psychology side and the emotional side tend to reflect more on what we are saying and the more and the jump scare in the movie it's the initial shock but you tend to Stay more focused and pay more attention. The fun side is about, it's about an episode uh, linked to the name. Uh, our old singer usually came up to rehearsal really late, like uh, one hour, two hour late, and uh, we did that. So we, uh, so my brother, uh, like basically creating a, like a trap with something that we had in the in the rehearsal room, and basically he jumped out. And since the ceiling is really low, he basically jump out and grab the lamp, and he stay on the on the ceiling. And basically, we said, "Oh, what? What is called this? It's a jump scare." Okay, let's go like this. We want to basically do not sound as a, a Swedish band as an American band. We want to try to uh, sound as us. We love we love melodic part. We are a little bit romantic, but we are also heavy. We love brutal breakdowns and uh, violins. For example, me that I'm the drummer, I tend to uh, also be involved in the lyrics uh, with. Uh, uh, the singer but also uh, if for example another guy came with an input for the lyrics we accept it and we try to merge everything as well for the instrumental there are uh, songs that basically starts with a structure uh, written only on the drums and then transferred on the guitar or vice versa so we basically we came up with an idea and we developed that so 
we tend to start from the instrument and we do we do a strange process we know but we do the instrumental track drums bass guitars then we do vocals and then we do the orchestration but uh, the lyrics reflect most uh, the, uh, the our perception of the society of course it's not political in the sense of uh, making a statement or uh, support a party or bullshit like that. Uh, we are tend to be very anarchist in that sense. Don't don't close your eyes. Don't bow to the to the situation that the life comes to you. The bad things. So try to stand up, fight for what you for what you uh, think is good. Uh, bands tend to help each other, and we are creating uh, a tribe of people that want to help each other, uh, basically touring together, share the expenses and stuff like that. But there is a lot of uh, um, competition and stupid competition. So we tend to have diff two different situations. The mainstream part, which is really good, but from the underground seat, uh, people tend to not come too much to the uh, shows. The people is not educated as, for example, in East Europe to go out and check a band even and go out and see a concert with the purpose to see a concert they want to have the name and to uh, see only what uh, what they already know uh, we do not have the name of the album yet but we have uh, we are like uh, the album will be like uh, maximum 40 minutes because we do not tend to make la uh, long albums Okay. Uh, we want to uh, basically have a, a release plan that cover a lot of time till the publication of the album. So we do like a singles per single. Uh, we play only in this period in November because it's our festival and it's our tradition to play there. It's like our own. So we play... Uh, to, uh, actually, in 20 minutes, we post uh, an update about uh, the blind tickets that we did for this festival. So we tend to promote uh, the festival that we have. Uh, then, when the single is ready, we will do a mini tour in support of the single. For reason, uh, we tend to basically compact all the lives uh, in uh, one period of time. Mm -hmm. The fact that we have you guys on our side is great for us because we felt we felt really as a, a one mission together. We have you guys uh, at our side? We have, uh, I think. Uh, really great situation to build up something that can develop 